Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business. 50mistakes.com, 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. There's much more than 50 mistakes up there, but that's the name of the website, 50mistakes.com. Um, I want to talk about improperly trained staff. And I can go on and on about staff training, and there's a lot on that website, 50mistakes.com, specifically about staff training. Your staff reflects your business. They reflect you. They reflect everything. That's who your guests come into contact with. I just, I always stress to my staff, the best staff, the most qualified staff that we find for front of the house, for wait staff, for servers, we can have somebody with 10 years experience, 20 years experience. And I always explain to them, you start off as a bus person here. You don't get thrown into waiting tables. You don't get thrown into behind the bar. Uh, there's this grace period that you have to come in and reprove yourself that you can do what we do at our, at our restaurant. And there's other restaurants like this, like the Cactus Club um, in Vancouver. Uh, they have like 23 locations, 25 locations, and their last location is a, like a 600-seat restaurant right on the water. They're very well established. They're 25 years old at Cactus Club. However, they have the same policy that we do. If you're management, you start at the bottom and you rotate through and work your way up so you know all the facets of the restaurant. Now the thing about my restaurant is, and I'm sure a lot of other restaurants, there's things that, that, that are unique to your restaurant that your staff doesn't know from working at other restaurants. It's just not about walking in and selling food and, and interacting with guests. You need to be able to sell food, you need to be able to interact with guests, but you need to know everything your restaurant has. So here's a great example. I went last night with a friend to a Mexican restaurant and um, he wanted, he was in the mood for scotch and uh, he wanted a scotch and really a Mexican restaurant isn't the best place for a scotch but most restaurants will have scotch. Um, the restaurant we went to before that was out of their scotch and that's going to be a whole nother video. So we get to our second restaurant he really wants a Glenlivet or a McAllen or something. So he says to the bartender, he goes, do you have scotch? I'm looking for a scotch. And the bartender looks at him and goes, this is a high-end tequila bar. We don't have scotch. Just like that. And he came off like very like, like, well, this is tequila, like, like almost like, not a little, almost like a little arrogant, I want to say. And so my friend said, okay, well, I'll, I'll have a tequila. So he had a tequila. And I'm sitting there. And I'm, after a couple of minutes, I'm like, look at the bar up there. I see Glenn Livett sitting right there. I see all the Johnny Walkers. My friend doesn't drink Johnny Walker, but I see all the Johnny Walkers. I see Dewars. I'm like, those are scotches. And he's like looking up and he's like, yeah. So he, he calls he calls over the bartender and says, what's that bottle of Glenn Livett doing up there? That's what I was looking for. And the bartender goes, oh, I thought we were out of those. I thought we sold out of those. Right? So he's like five, six scotches up there. Oh, I thought we sold out of those. Not like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that, or this or that, or I'm new here. I don't know how new the guy is. But these are the things that make a difference in your restaurant. Improperly trained staff is killing you. Now that person should have been, should have been much better trained. He should have started out at the bottom and worked his way up and understood what's going on. If, if, even, if, even if it takes your most qualified server that's coming from another restaurant, from other experience. I mean, even if it takes them a week to move their way up, it's a week of learning the fundamentals, of learning the basics, of understanding all the jobs that need to be done. And it might only take them a week. I've had some experienced waste staff that have, that, have, that have come into my restaurant that's taken them two months to move up. Because we're a bit more intricate than other restaurants, but still, I explained to my staff, when you go out on the floor, that's the battlefield. It's a friendly battlefield, okay? We want to give you as much ammunition as possible to make sure the guest has a great experience. It's about the guest. Now my friend had a good tequila, okay, but he didn't have the experience he was going in for. He wanted a scotch and that's what he wanted. That's what he was in the mood for. So his experience is altered because this person isn't properly trained or maybe they were trained, maybe they just can't remember it. So if they can't remember it, they shouldn't be in that position, right? They shouldn't have moved up as quick or quicker. They shouldn't be in that position. So. I explained to my staff, you're on the floor, you're on the front line, you're the first person in contact, you're the one that they're going to remember. You need to know everything, you need to be able to handle yourself. If you don't know everything, you need to be able to friendly BS your way through, where you can understand how to, how to work, how to get, have people skills and work them to where you're not presenting yourself as some idiot that doesn't know. It's okay to get help from somebody, it's okay to get the expert, it's okay to get the bartender, it's okay to get the wine sommelier, it's okay to get the owner to find out about a beer, it's okay to do all that, 
but you can't tell them and be arrogant about it at the same time. Like, oh no, I don't know. Well, let me get the person who knows. Let me get the person who's passionate about that. My, my wait staff for the longest time in the beginning would say about the wine list because they didn't know the wines. You know, let me get Marcus. He's the one who's passionate. He's the one who's tasting every wine on here. Instead of trying to BS their way through something where they, where they couldn't pull it off, okay? So, I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and definitely, if you're a restaurant owner or restaurant manager, check out 50mistakes.com and uh, leave your thoughts on the, uh, on the comments here. Thanks for watching.